Maybe I'm the one, maybe I'm the one who is a schizophrenic psycho, yeah. Maybe I'm the one, maybe I'm the one who is a sc Oh. Hey everyone. In case you're wondering, I'm uh, in a straitjacket because, uh, well, went completely insane after Halloween and also, um,. You know, sometimes I'm, sometimes I do lose my insanity. I mean, sometimes I do lose my sanity and go completely insane. <laughs> like, like why am I beyond this straight jacket? Which I say it's terribly uncomfortable. <clears throat> anyway, anyway, I bet you all are here for today. Because I'm here to tell you about a topic for today. But first I need to get myself out of this straitjacket. Mm. Now, I don't know how Houdini does it. Wait a minute, I think I remember him said that um, Houdini did it by dislocating his arm. Um, I guess I'll give it a shot. Ah! Ah! Ugh. Ugh. Huh. Woo! Out of that drake jacket. Of course, I gotta undislocate it. Maybe I just put my arm right here, give it a yank. Ah! Ah! Woo! Ah. Well, that was better. Anyway, folks, welcome for another uh, episode of Multi-Voice Reviewer. And as some of you have seen the pictures, what I was announcing on the next video, why slashers, or slashers, <laughs> I know, it was a mi I misspelled something. Anyway, why slashers movies are cliche. That is one thing I really am bored of, slasher films. I mean, I'm sure some of you people feel the same th same way about slasher films these days. I mean, it's the same formula they just use again and again and again and again. I mean, it's ridiculous. And of course, um, the formula goes, you always have either a supernatural or a realistic killer who uh, goes completely insane and use any kind of cutting utensils like an axe or a chainsaw or even a knife. Yeah. Maybe a knife. Oh, don't look at me. I never stab anyone. But... That's how the formula goes. You always have a psychotic killer or a supernatural killer using cutting utensils in order to go after young teenagers. Because not many uh, slasher films always have uh, mature victims. They always have the, um, the teenage ones. And of course, some of you who have seen... Um, I mean, I got this video called... The Boogeyman Killer Combination, where it explains all the slasher killers, all the boogeyman here. From, uh, from Pinhead all the way to Michael Myers. And it was an interesting uh, video. If you ever want to go through, I mean, if you want to go to eBay or Amazon, you should look this up, because this was a really good, uh, it was a really good video that they made here, where they explain all the killers and all. And of course, everybody knew about the cliche when it comes to parody. Like, they made this parody, Scream. <laughs> yeah, I got Scream 1 to 3. I don't have the fourth one. This one's an extra bonus disc. I just lost my interest in Scream since the fourth movie came out, and I just wasn't interested in watching it. 
But this was a show where I first had a crush on uh, Nev Campbell. Whatever happened to her anyway? Because I haven't seen her lately. In any recent movie she starred in. What's up with that? Anyway, when it comes to slasher films, it started from Psycho. You know, Alfred Hitchcock movie. Where you have old Norman Bates and you thought he was an innocent uh, young guy. And his uh, mother is doing all the killing. And then at the end you discover that it was Norman himself. He just had a multiple personality disorder. And he also had mommy issues. And always kept her body by having her stuffed. Mm. And of course you know some of the inspiration of, uh, of Norman Bates came from Ed Gein. But of course, if some of you looked up the documentaries and and history about Ed Gein, I'm not going to tell you about him because it's too gruesome for me to talk about. Anyway, after Psycho came out and it kind of thrilled people, and don't get me started on the shot-by-shot -shot remake of Psycho. I mean, Vince Vaughn is Norman Bates. Big fail on that part. And of course, I bet there's some people who kept on pausing the scene, seeing Anne Hache naked when she's getting stabbed in the shower. I mean, it's the same thing they did with uh, with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis's mother. That's right. Jamie Lee Curtis's mother was in Psycho. She was in the beginning. She was the one who gets the... Uh, <laughs> Even my grandma told me that grandpa kept pausing the tape to see if she was really naked or not. Hmm. And then now comes this. Halloween. With old Michael Myers here. Hmm. Now, of course, I wish I have uh, Halloween 2 and Halloween 3 and Halloween H2O on DVD. All I got is Halloween Resurrection... And I wish I didn't get this. The Rob Zombie version of Halloween. I really don't like Rob Zombie's style. I mean, I think he's better off doing, uh... Doing gothy heavy metal crap. And that's one problem I do have. Remakes of old classic slasher films are really, really stupid. I mean, they think they decided to make their own version of slasher films, even though slasher films are getting so dang old. And of course, if some of you remember how the whole premise goes, besides I got to the killer part, let's get to the victim's part, shall we? I mean, in a slasher film, there's certain laws going by. There was a bug flying around. Certain laws go by that it follows. One, no premarital sex. That means no young teenagers ain't supposed to get all frisky towards each other. Because all they ever think about is sex, 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 sex. Number two. No drinking alcohol and no taking drugs. Because most stoners and drunks, they always get killed. It's pretty obvious. And rule number three. No saying I'll be right back. Because you never be back. Because at the end, you might be as dead as a doornail. And of course, you get the cliche victims. You get the frisky teenager. I mean, the frisky couples. I mean, you get the um, the strong jock guy who um, who um, been working out and all, playing a lot of football or basketball or whatever sports he's into, and he's um, and he's uh, catching the cheerleaders' attention. And the cheerleader is really frisky because she is really turned on by his physique. I mean, it's pretty obvious that they're going to get killed. And, of course, everybody wants to see it because they like to see the uh, the teenage girl, you know, take off the top. <laughs> it's ridiculous! I mean, heck. I mean, most guys who have uh, had their own collection of Playboy had a, have seen enough breasts uh, to, for a lifetime, if you ask me. And, of course, the stoners, you know they're going to get killed because they're so drunk or so wasted, man. They're going to get... 
as usual. And also, and also you get the kind of characters who hardly gets killed. Hardly. Like, you get the Ahab. If some of you ever read uh, Moby Dick, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Captain Ahab, he's a guy who is farting, I mean, who is swelling revenge to the, the great white whale named Moby Dick. And it's about a whale, so get your head out of the gutter. Anyway, the Ahab character is either a, um, a uh, hospital doctor who knew a lot about the killer before he escaped, or the guy who, who is sporting revenge against the killer because the killer killed, like, they're related to somebody who's the victim from the first movie. And now this Ahab wants to stop at nothing to get his revenge. And some movies, some of the Ahabs get killed, and some of the Ahabs, they do survive. Some of them, not all of them. And then we get the number one survivor here. You get the virgin girl. The girl who is smart, never thinks between the legs, and more focusing on the situation and knows how to survive. And you also get the decent guy. Now, the decent guy... He'd gone through a bad relationship, and that's the reason why he becomes the decent guy, because he really likes her, and he thinks in his heart, not between his legs. And that's the whole premise. I mean, you get the, you get the virgin girl who's a survivor. Who is a survivor? You ain't gonna give up! <laughs> Sorry, getting the rhythm. And they always say... Psycho killers always been pa 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 better run 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 away hey 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 <laughs> and of course I got my own collection of slasher films in the past I mean you see my Halloween you see my scream well let me show you some more of my collection I got got my Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Part 3. Part 4, The Next Generation, starring Matthew McConaughey and, um, and, um, Renee Zellweger. And, of course, I got the remake. Which, I would say, the remake was pretty good. I mean, they did something that was way better than the original. And then the one I don't like they made was the sequel, and actually it's a prequel to the remake. That was the most, I mean, I hated the ending, where the Leatherface went to the Urban Legends shot by hiding in the back of her seat and chainsaw her to death. That was awful. And of course I got uh, Candyman, starring Tony Todd as the guy with a hook in his hand. And he only appears if you uh, look into a mirror and call his name five times. Candyman, 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 Candyman. <laughs> oh, just kidding. <laughs> Got the sequel of it. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Talks more into his background. And of course, I got my... My Jason collection, Friday the 13th, 1 through 8, 1 through 8. And of course I got this documentary called His Name is Jason, interview with the cast members who, who starred in these movies and the history and, they, and some of the fans who love Friday the 13th. And, of course, I got these three extra movies they made. Jason Goes to Hell the Final Friday. Jason X, where he goes to space. And, of course, Freddy vs. Jason. Place your bets! I tell you, ever since I saw the movie, I was rooting for Jason to win. Because I can stand Jason more. And not Freddy Krueger. And, speak of the devil... I got my Night Nightmare on Elm Street collection. 
See ya in your nightmares. <laughs> Do you know ever since they made um, Freddy vs. Jason movie, they were planning on doing another evil character involved in the fight? Where uh, Freddy and Jason are fighting against each other into hell and Pinhead from Hellraiser shows up and say, What's going on here? And we're planning to make uh, Freddy versus Jason versus Pinhead. And of course, speak of the devil, Hellraiser. I got the first movie. And I'll tell you one thing, folks. One is enough. And of course, for those of you who remember Killer Dolls, I got Chucky. Wanna play? Sorry, Jack. Chucky's back in the whole collection. Yeah, I got Chuck of the Killer doll movies. <laughs> and of course, this horror movie has came out, but now been known as the most popular scary one of all. Jeepers Creepers. One and two. Never did like that monster. The most cannibalistic creature of all, and he's a demon from hell. And the only reason why he eats people is because if he has a wounded body, he eats people to uh, heal up his wounds. Like if he uh, lost his arm, he'll eat somebody else's arm and he gets himself a new one. Grows back. That's weird. Now, of course, when... And of course, Cabin in the Wood was not bad. I mean, it had the same premise, but it turned out to be an outlandish comedy. And the only thing I like about Cabin in the Woods was all the monsters they had in their headquarters. It was pretty awesome. And of course this one they made that I was pretty impressed. And it was Behind the Mask. Now this was a good movie. I'll tell you that. Because this one, it focuses more on this one girl from college who decided to do a documentary on... try to do a documentary to uh, this killer. So, he's uh, happy to um, do the interview with them. And he tells them about what he does. So, um, so he knows exactly what he's planning to do and how this whole thing's going to turn out. Now, Throughout all my years, I got really bored of slasher films, and I, and since all the other slasher films are just the same formula they use, just like Friday the 13th and all the other slasher films, I got really bored easily on slasher films, and I got really sick and tired of them all. And I just avoid any slasher films, because they're just getting so bo boring. Until I came across this movie, Trick or Treat, which I would say this is the most awesome movie in the world. Of course, I'm not going to tell you because I don't have time, but maybe next time I'm going to review this movie to you, to you folks, to let you know about this movie and why I like it so much. I'll tell you, folks, I got all those movies, and I wish for my money back. Did somebody say wish? Wishmaster, what are you doing here? I heard that you wish for your money back, but you forgot to mention the movies I'm in. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I seen your movies, and I only saw the first one, and one is enough. Just like I said about Hellraiser. Even though it was pretty cool to see Robert England, a.k.a. Freddy Krueger, Kane Hodder, who played Jason in current movies, and also Tony Todd was in it, as Candy, who played Candyman, in your movie. That was pretty cool that you killed them with your wishes. Folks, this here is um, the Wishmaster, and he's a Dejin, kind of like a genie. But one thing about him is when you meet him... He'll tempt you to make a wish, and then he'll take your soul after you make your wishes. That is right. And I am here because I want you to make a wish. 
And for those of you who want to make a wish, call me. No! Don't even dare. Wishmaster, I want you to go away and don't try to tempt me in any of your wishes. Because I've seen what you've done and I'm not even interested. Oh, come on. Make one wish. I can make it possible. All right, Wishmaster. I wish for you to get out of my life and never see me again. No. Uh, 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 no. 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 Whew. Close call, huh? Well... That is my topic for today, ladies and gentlemen. And if any of you like my uh, topic, please leave a comment down below and subscribe. And um, also leave a like if you liked it. So this is uh, Michael Grimm, a.k.a. Multi-Voice Reviewer. And if you excuse me, I got some slashing to do. Uh, DVD, not people. I I'm going to slash some DVDs here. So... Yeah. So, bye-bye.